Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is my 5G course on IoT Understanding channel. As for today, I would like to talk about 5G open run concept. So uh, this is gonna be the huge topic and uh, I think this will be just the first video in the series of videos about open run. So what is it open run? Open run concept is when we uh, can have uh, different uh, network elements from different vendors. For example, radio unit from one vendor, baseband unit from another vendor, or even inside uh, baseband unit may consist of different vendors. For example, uh, processing part can be based on Intel architecture, or can be based on NVIDIA GPU, or using some more common um, solutions for that. So uh, open run concept is all about open interfaces, it's all about open source codes. It is like nowadays PC uh, market is when we can uh, have uh, just um, uh, motherboard from one vendor, uh, CPU from another vendor, uh, graphic cards from the third company, yeah, so open run it is all the same uh, and in this video i just want to briefly touch some points about traditional run concept and open run concept so now let's look at a traditional run traditional radio access network it is a secure solid mature and reliable end-to-end -end solution that uh, can provide just one vendor. So this is a old model and it works really good and in most of the markets uh, it, it is a real solution. So the second point is there is no comparison on performance with uh, open run. I mean that open run vendors will not be able to achieve the same level in terms of uh, performance, uh, such things like massive MIME or carrier aggregation, uh, dynamic spectrum sharing. They will not be able to compare with Huawei, with, with Ericsson, with Nokia, with ZE, uh, Samsung, because such huge, big vendors, uh, they took over the whole market and they will be ahead completely uh, 100%. The second thing is uh, open run is a good way uh, to take over a market. It can be considered uh, from uh, such big vendors as a good way to take over the telecom market completely because uh, uh, you know, using such uh, idea as if you cannot win, lots of little and small companies, lots of uh, small vendors. If you cannot win, become the leader of uh, that uh, open run. So that's why such companies as Huawei, Ericsson, they are very interested in that concept and they actually uh, taking part in open run. Uh, idea. The next is operators with many open run vendors. Uh, they uh, will still need just one common integrator in order to integrate all of these different, completely different solutions from different vendors. And again, uh, such uh, thing will, I guess, will probably destroy that fact that diversification from uh, open run idea when uh, when you go away from one vendor to multiple vendors but with multiple vendors you will still need just one common company to integrate all of this solution to um, to uh, know how to different interfaces between active antenna unit and radio unit uh, can work with uh, different how different 
um, front hole, bent hole, in, back hole interfaces can interoperate with each other in under the one common uh, radio access network. So this is a huge point actually. And uh, the last one, but not least, such big vendors like these companies, they are uh, they are uh, contributors to 3GPP specification. They are contributors to all major achievements in mobile networks, in wireless technologies. They will be definitely ahead of any small companies in all cutting-edge uh, wireless technologies. This is for sure. So. This was uh, some uh, points about traditional run and now look at some uh, positive uh, things about open run concept. So now let's look at open run. Open run is uh, all about expectations in capex reduction because uh, when you have multiple vendors uh, you will be able to create um, competition between them and they will lead to lower uh, prices in the market. So um, the rollout and the, the whole capex is actually expected to be uh, with some redundancy. Uh, the next point is vendors and risk diversification. The open run idea will help to um, diversificate uh, some risks even for uh, government because um, nowadays government actually government in any countries they try to uh, they try to divide mobile uh, operators networks um, for different vendors for Huawei for Ericsson for Nokia in order to uh, to have a more reliable and uh, government security uh, in that field because it would be strange at least to uh, give the whole network just for one vendor and open run solution is uh, even more further uh, so you can have multiple vendors uh, with uh, all mobile operators and this is a very good for government uh, security as well. The second thing is there is no massive and high cost swap to another vendor. So uh, mobile op op operators they will not they will not be locked in just one vendor and uh, there is basically just one solution if you uh, don't like your vendor, yes? Is to make a high cost swap to another vendor. And a swap is basically is so difficult and um, massive uh, constructions should be done on network. So uh, there won't be a massive swap with open run because there will be many many vendors in your network the second thing is more freedom to small companies uh, that can trigger innovation actually yes big companies is good at cutting edge technologies but sometimes there may be exclusions for example in some comp in small companies some open minded people they can have some ideas and possibilities to implement their ideas in wireless networks uh, that um, some other people cannot do the same thing in big companies because in big companies lots of restrictions, remit, uh, limitations and policy rules can regulate that but in small companies if you uh, an open-minded person, if you are very good at technology, you can um, you can actually trigger innovation in that field, and Open Run is very good for that. Open Run is all about uh, commoditization, so again, there is no uh, dependency on just one vector or vendor. 
you as a as an operator you can very flexible to uh, tune your network with all necessary uh, solutions uh, to uh, yeah the, the, this is actually open run is is very good to customize your network the uh, last thing but again not least open run is very good for uh, such things as non standalone 5g it is very it is very good with uh, uh, network function virtualization in 5G core. And 5G base station decomposition, uh, that concept can be, uh, can go very well with the uh, open run concept because uh, you can, any uh, distributed model and uh, central units and active antenna units, all of these uh, parts of a radio access network can be used, uh, can be deployed by multiple vendors at the best of uh, their abilities. And when it comes to non-standalone, why um, Open Run is good for non-standalone? Uh, that's because only in standalone 5G it's possible to have dedicated and independent uh, network uh, for example 5g network in standalone mode it uh, refers to one vendor and 4g network uh, it refers to another vendor so nowadays operator can do only uh, in the same way but open run um, with open run uh, you can deploy uh, different vendors for non-standalone, for standalone 5G, it doesn't matter. So actually it was just bullets, it was just uh, points about traditional uh, radio access network concept and open run with open interfaces, with open source programming uh, concept and actually if you like this video, you can like and subscribe. I will definitely cover this topic more. So I need some motivation from you. Uh, you can comment, uh, write um, any questions in the comments below or uh, you can write me to email. So stand by with IoT Understanding channel. Goodbye.